and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So stick around and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. In today's video, I'm going to be making a highly requested cocktail and one that I am so excited to finally make here on this channel. I'm going to be making a Vu Carré. Ever since sharing my delightful experience making and trying a Sazerac cocktail for the first time, I've been getting so many requests to finally try a Vucare, which is another New Orleans classic. It seems that the Vucare is quite similar to a Sazerac in that it is a very spirit forward cocktail, which is probably the reason why I was getting so many requests for it. So before we get into the history of this cocktail and I show you how I make it at home, I wanted to take a second to tell you about Surfshark, who I have partnered with on this segment of the video. Surfshark is a really handy VPN service that I've started using recently. And if you don't know what it is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And you can download it on your phone, computer, laptop, tablet, basically anywhere you're using the internet. And what it does is it places your device's location anywhere in the world. And this is particularly handy if you want to watch something on a streaming service that isn't usually available in your home country. Being from Ireland myself, I use use Surfshark to access things like American Netflix so I can watch TV shows like The Legend of Korra. I was such a big fan of the original Avatar series. I remember watching it when it was on Nickelodeon. I actually re-watched it again recently and I was getting a lot of suggestions to watch The Legend of Korra, which is the follow-up series. So I went onto my Netflix to try and access it, but it wasn't available in my country. So with Surfshark, I can now fix this problem and I can also access 15 of Netflix's largest country libraries, as well as accessing things like the BBC Player, Hulu, and other previously limited streaming services. Unlimited access to great movies and TV shows sounds pretty perfect coming into cozy season. With Surfshark, you also get the added benefit of extra layers of security. And as someone whose job exists primarily online, this is so important to me. One subscription allows you to install and run Surfshark on an unlimited number of devices at the same time. And with their 30 day money back guarantee, you can try it out for yourself risk free. I will leave a link in the description below and you can use my code Kira for 83% off. Plus you will also get an additional three months free, which is pretty amazing. All right, so back to cocktails. Let's get into the history of the Vu Carré. As I mentioned before, the Vu Carré, or the Vu Carré, if you want to pronounce it like a French person, is a classic New Orleans cocktail. It directly translates to Old Square or Old Quarter, which was the name given to the area which it originated from. It was invented by a man called Walter Bergeron in the Hotel Monteleone in New Orleans. One thing that I found really interesting is the bar that it was invented at in the Hotel Monteleone was called the Carousel Bar. And it has this weird thing going on where the bar itself rotates at an almost imperceptibly slow pace. So while you're sitting enjoying your drink, the bar is moving, which is absolutely fabulous. How cool. New Orleans was already pretty high on my list of places to visit, but I need to see this bar for myself. Okay, so enough history chat. Let's get into the ingredients for Vu Carré. Looking at the ingredients list for Vu Carré, I would say that it is a more complicated twist on an old fashioned. It's kind of like an advanced old fashioned. Rather than working with just a whiskey or a bourbon as its base, the Vu Carré actually comprises of equal parts rye whiskey, cognac, and also sweet vermouth. So for our whiskey today, I'm going with the Bullet Rye, which was strongly recommended to me by quite a few people. So I went and picked up a bottle, really excited to try this. I also picked up what I initially thought was a regular bottle of cognac, but it's actually a bit of a mini bottle. So this is the Hennessy cognac. Everybody knows the brand. Good to have this now because I can use it in a lot of other cocktails. And then I also picked up a new bottle of red vermouth. This is Dolan's. I see this being used a lot in some amazing whiskey cocktails. So I'm very excited to have a bottle of it. So these are our main spirits that we're going to use in the cocktail, but we are also going to be using some Peychaud's bitters and also some Angostura as well. This bottle of Peychaud's is also from New Orleans as well, which is great. And the final ingredient in this cocktail 
sale is something that I definitely had to order in because they did not have it in my local shops and that is Benedictine, which is a French herbal liqueur. And then to finish off for our garnish, we're gonna be using some lemon peel and I'm also gonna be using some of my favorite Luxardo Maraschino cherries. So I am really, really excited to see what this tastes like. And on that note, that is enough ingredients talk. Let's get into actually making the cocktail. Okay, so I have my mixing glass here with my ice in it. Let's start with our rye. I'm gonna try a little bit of it just before I pour it in. Oh, that's fab. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, love that. Okay, so let's go in with 20 mils of our bullet rye. Now we're gonna go in with about 20 to 22 mils of our cognac. Pop that in. Now we're going in with 22 mils of sweet red vermouth. So let's pop 20 mils of that in. Now we're gonna go in with two dashes of Peychaud's bitters, two. And then we are gonna do two dashes of Angostura bitters. I think you can leave these out, but I have the bottle, so I might as well use them. One, two. And then for our final ingredient, we are going to do just a bar spoon of Benedictine. It kind of smells like a really mild absinthe. It's very herbal. Okay, so let's just do a bar spoon. Okay, that's a generous bar spoon. Now we are going to stir it over ice. I'm gonna stir it for about 30 seconds. I don't want it to dilute too much. So really quickly before I strain it, I'm just gonna get my lemon peel ready. So I have my glass here. I'm going to pop in one of my gigantic ice cubes. Let's strain it over our gigantic ice cube. Gosh, it's a beautiful color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and express the oils. Run this around the rim. Give this a little twist. And then pop it in. Grab my maraschino cherry. Drain off as much of the syrup. And then just pop that in. Oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it. It is a surprisingly easy cocktail to make. You're just stirring and straining. Really excited to try this. I do not want my ice to melt, so if you will join me over on my Dr. Evil chair, let's finally try a Vucare and see what all the fuss is about. I am back on my cocktail drinking chair. I have my drink here. I'm very excited to finally try a Vucare for myself. Cheers. That is outrageously smooth. How, how did, how, that doesn't make any sense. This is pure rocket fuel, but it tastes so delicate and mild. I'm actually shocked. It is so delicious. I actually cannot believe this. It tastes even smoother than a Sazerac. The rye whiskey is beautiful in it. It's all just really well balanced. It feels like the flavors are all working together. I've said it so many times before, but I cannot thank enough the people who are recommending cocktails to me because you're so on the ball. You are on the money. This is totally my kind of drink. We are now at that point in the video where I get to sit back, enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my Patreon community. So I have a question here from the lovely Jim Holmes and he asks, is the Tri Channel a job, a hobby or just something to do for fun? Well, Jim, I would say that Tri Channel to me is all of those things combined. So the Tri Channel is not my full-time job, but of course it is part of my job. I guess you could definitely say it is something that I do for fun. I genuinely enjoy it so, so much. I really do hope that comes across in the videos. I'm always having the best time. Even if we're doing something that's horrific, I'm usually enjoying myself. And yeah, I guess you could say it's a hobby because I mean, I would do it even if it wasn't part of my work, if that makes sense. It's just something that's so enjoyable. It doesn't feel like work. If you would like to join my Patreon community, it is not only a way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content and see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. So there you have it. That is my experience of making a vu carré for the first time. It is safe to say that I have been absolutely blown away. If you have any other cocktail recommendations, drinks that you think I will enjoy, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have your own way of making the vu carré, do you stray from the recipe? I really want to know how you make yours. If you liked this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up as that helps me out a lot. And if you would like to see more cocktail videos, I will link a playlist up here. I have so many other ones that you can check out. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers.